early this morning, trying out some street photography with the old 35mm. The light is terrible. I wish it was a little bit more sunny so we could get some hard shadows, but what I'm gonna do is just look for scenes and try and like lurk around there until something decent happens in front of me. So see what happens. All right, so I didn't start the day off with street photography. I started off with a little bit of architecture. I think this building looks so sick. I just couldn't help but mess around and see if I could find somewhere with it. I kind of hoped that maybe some like people would come by and I'd be able to make a street photo of it, but I didn't really find anybody in the right place or I wasn't in the right place or they weren't walking the right way or whatever, but I love the curves in this building. I think it's so cool. Particularly this one, I get the reflections in the window here like that and then just darken those shadows down a little bit and uh, up that contrast, I think it looks awesome. Kind of abstract looking. And in this one, this big sweeping curve here, just like get really dark shadows and bright highlights. So then I actually got to start shooting a little bit of street photography and this wall caught my eye because it's got like big you know, stripy like this and this guy's coming up the hill here and I just caught him on his way up there and I don't like the photo at all but I kind of knew what I was going for and now I know where that spot is so if I want to go back there and try and make something else I am kind of somewhat prepared. And actually looking up the other way I think that view might have been better for leading lines of someone walking down towards us but right around the corner from there there's this awesome like super stripy looking wall and there wasn't really anybody coming at first but I hung around there for a second and a whole bunch of people came so I think this is like a common commuter route for whatever reason so I'm just like shooting these people as they came past I kind of screwed that one up they didn't want to work and then this guy came past I missed that gesture it was too early but then I got this one and this is like one of my favorite photos of the day I think it looks really cool and I just kept shooting people this guy caught me I'm like staring at the camera there it looks kind of weird and then more and more people just coming along got this lady with the bag right here that one's not too bad and I changed positions a little bit tried to somewhat work the scene you know I didn't really know what I was doing with this guy here I got him like 90 degrees on and it's like straight stripes with him walking through this the through the bottom of the frame Tried something similar with this lady with a bike. This one's not too bad either. I really wish somebody had been wearing a stripy shirt, but that's the kind of cliche thing. I caught these bikers coming past, so he's kind of blurred out in the frame. I don't like this one as much. And then I was trying to step out on the road, but cars kept coming towards me. And then got these two bikers coming through again. This guy was following me for a while. He was kind of creeping me out. All right, so I was around the other side of the block here in this walkway. Had I had a longer lens, this would have worked so much better, but I cropped in a little bit and I'm just waiting for people to walk through that walkway and make like a silhouette picture right there. I think on a longer lens would be pretty cool. It doesn't look too bad like that though either. The grounds right behind me is this really cool like um, gardens. It's really nicely designed. There's not really anybody walking around here, but I'm just kind of shooting to sort of Remember that there's a nice scenes there, so if I'm ever in that area and there's more people or if I'm doing a photo shoot in that area There's lots of really cool scenes and just to the camera right here There's a really cool like garden scene. It's all kind of dead just now But imagine in the summer when that's growing in that yellow splash in the background and the architecture It's gonna look really cool and here I'm waiting at this like tunnel. This is behind uh, U University of Pennsylvania's playing fields I don't know what I don't know if it's a soccer or football or what what stadium it is but I'm just waiting on someone walking around this corner there was two people as I arrived and I'm just hoping that someone eventually will come around I waited here for a couple minutes and this girl walks around the corner she must have been so creeped out there's this guy pointing a camera towards her but I just kept my head down and kept shooting and fired off two or three shots and this was my favorite but I wish her legs had been like stepping apart instead of together just beyond that the university's playing fields there's all this like cool sort of architecture walkways and bridges and stuff and I'm just screwing around shooting here and this golf cart comes along which is a really random thing to be driving through there and then I just kind of mess around here for a while get a bit of a cityscape happening nothing too crazy I'm just kind of shooting to see what I can get I like the light and the colors in this one at this point I don't really know if I've got any photos that I really like today but I've explored a part of the city that I haven't seen before, so it's pretty cool. The light hasn't been great, it's been super flat, and I used to love flat lighting because then it wasn't difficult to work with harsh shadows, but for street photography, I think I like harsh shadows a lot better. I don't know how much I like the 35mm on the Fuji camera, it feels 
not long enough sometimes and then not wide enough other times but maybe it's just something I have to get used to because I've always shot either 35 or 85 but I've got like another hour, I'm going to miss the next train so I've got another hour to miss. So just at the top of those stairs I was just out as a sort of like awning thing with the railway line goes over the top of it. I've posted up here for a little while and shot that direction just wait for someone to walk past every so often people were coming through a little bit of a silhouette of this lady. I kind of wish that people were walking towards me but for some reason it seemed like every time I faced one direction people came from the other direction and then always noticed them coming. I switched directions and this girl came past here, so I shot another bit of a silhouette. I think I like this direction a little bit better because it's a bit more dark and contrasty. And then through the other side of the fields, there's this other like super cool bridge. I stopped at the front here and what I did was took, I only have 50mm on my lens so I didn't have anything else with me, so I just took a panoramic and then stitched it all together in post to get like a wide angle shot of the bridge. Then I set my camera up and just started walking around in front of it, I put on an interval timer. I'm not, I'm terrible at posing, I'm terrible at posing myself. I'm much better when I have someone else to, to try and pose. But um, I just kind of screwed around in front of the camera, leaned against the wall for a bit. And then walking back towards the camera, I just kind of strutted my stuff. And came up with one or two pictures that I actually think are not too bad. Now this bridge is so cool. I saw it in somebody's video ages ago and I had no idea what it was and I just knew it was like down this general area somewhere and I'm pretty happy I managed to find it. It's an awesome place. Good place for a photo shoot as well if I ever have somebody to bring down here. Alright, my camera battery's about to die so I think I'm going to call it quits at that. The batteries were dying but as I was on my way back I spotted this, I'd never noticed this like little awning place before at, under that FMC building that I took pictures, pictures of earlier but it looks super awesome and I just kind of like milled around there for a bit trying to see if I could find anything if anybody would interest and would walk through try and make some sort of silhouette and this lady comes out here and I silhouette her against that white pillar I did one, in, I think I prefer the one in black and white, but there's also one in colour right here. And then I was just sort of messing around with the reflections in that glass. There's definitely some great pictures to be had in this area, so I'll be coming back here at some point. I noticed that uh, the Comcast centre is in the reflection there, I think that's really cool. Alright, that's it. Pretty successful morning of street photography, I think. Hey, monster. Drop me a comment down below, tell me what picture you think was uh, the best one. My personal favourite was the one with the guy... My personal favourite was the one with the guy in like, the purple shirt at that stripy wall, just as he was walking through. Um, probably one of the better street photos that I've got. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers! <laughs>